Welcome to the Crystal Fresh Kitchen. Today I'm going to share with you a recipe for peanut butter balls. Now, peanut butter balls have a little bit of crystal butter in them, some peanut butter, and then we've got powdered sugar and some crisp, crisped rice cereal. We're gonna toss it all in the blender and blend it up, and then I'm going to make little balls that will look like this. And then we're going to melt some chocolate, dip it in the chocolate, and then they will look like this. So this is our end product. The first thing I'm gonna do here is add my butter to the mixer. And then we've got my peanut butter. So that is crystal salted butter that we added. And try to get that big blob of peanut butter in there. Mm, I love peanut butter. It's delicious. My son tries to talk me into just making him peanut butter sandwiches, which is fine. But I think he needs the jelly too. I don't know, it's a mom thing, I guess. Needs a little fruit. Here we go. Get that mixed up. Sometimes I let him have just peanut butter. All right. So that's blended up pretty well. And then we're gonna add our powdered sugar next. So got quite a bit of powdered sugar here. Get that in. Let's see. Here we go. Every time I put in the powdered sugar, it's like a cloud, which is great because it tastes really good. Kind of hits your lips when you're talking. Mm. All right. Got our powdered sugar. And we're just gonna mix that. Here we go, see? Stand back. All right, we're okay. Whew. Powdered sugar cloud coming through. There we go. Once it gets mixed up, I'll turn it up just a little bit, kind of get it going. All right. And there we go. Take that off. Let's see. Here we are. Oh, this is looking good. Okay. Whoop. Make it a mess, as usual. Okay. So this is a, a little bit of a messy thing to do. Um, you can definitely do it with your kids, but just have to know that it's gonna be messy. All right, so get that in there. I'm gonna put this in the sink, and I'm gonna, let's see, get this off of here, and add my Rice crispy here, crispy rice cereal. Here we go. Put that hole there. So the reason why I'm not doing the crisped rice cereal in the um, mixer with it on is because it kind of crushes it. So it's better to take it like this, see, and just kind of fold it in. There we go. Get it all folded up. The peanut butter is nice and creamy. So, and you can use chunky or smooth. It's totally up to you. So it just kind of helps bind it all together between the peanut butter and the rice. I'm trying to keep this bowl sideways so I can show you what I'm doing here, but it's round on the bottom, so. All right, get that all done. All right. So at this point, this is when we get messy. At this point, I am going to take this guy, put it over here, and I'm gonna grab a spoon. And I'm just gonna start to form bite-sized, about like the size of a, a little smaller than a walnut, little peanut butter balls. And I'm gonna add them to my tray that I have there and then I'm gonna go ahead and take that in just a moment and put it in the freezer. Now, the reason why we put it in the freezer is because the peanut butter, um, the more that you work with this, it kinda gets melty. And then when you go to dip it in the chocolate, they, they could fall apart. So the freezer part is, Kind of important. So I'm just gonna make one more and pop it on the tray. And then I'm gonna take that over to the freezer. So there we go. Get a little cleaned up. And go put this guy in our freezer for 15 minutes. So I've got my peanut butter balls back out of the freezer. They were in there for about 15 minutes and they've hardened up pretty nicely. So I'm just gonna take them and start to put them in this chocolate here. You can use whatever your favorite kind of chocolate is. Like I said, I have three here. I have white chocolate, I have dark chocolate, and then I have milk chocolate. Everybody likes something different. Now this chocolate, I actually melted in the microwave. Um, the back of the package usually has directions on how to do that. 
and it's 50%, so 50% power for about one minute. And see, it, it melts up really nicely. One minute, you give it a stir, and then if it's not melted, you do it again. All right, so I'm gonna take this guy here, and just dump him in the chocolate, and use my forks. Kind of let it drip off a little bit there. And then I'm just gonna put it right back on that cookie sheet because they are gonna go right back into the freezer to harden up. So we've got one. Get off, little guy. All right, and I'll do one more. Dump him in here. Okay, there we go. The fork's kind of nice because it just kind of drips right off the bottom. You know, I've seen a lot of recipes for um, peanut butter balls that include paraffin wax that you put into the chocolate. And I'm just not, I don't want to eat wax. It's not something I want to do. So I've never done it that way. Um, I think that they look beautiful just like this. And the whole point of the paraffin wax is to give them kind of a sheen. But I think that they look nice and natural and pretty just the way they are here. All right, so at this point, I would put this back in the freezer, like I said. But instead, what I'm gonna do is taste some of these that I have. And what should I try? Hmm, I think I'm gonna go for the milk chocolate. See what that tastes like. Mmm. Mmm. Peanut butter, chocolate, can't go wrong. It's delicious. Thank you for joining me today. You can find this and other recipes on crystalmilk.com.